Hello everybody, it's Nick, and I picked up a, few, a couple things this weekend, or today I should say. Today's the weekend, ain't it? Um, now, I only got a couple games and I got a DVD. Now, I thought I got more, but, you know, I'm low on money, so I'm really trying to conserve what I have. Besides, I owe someone on, you know, online some money, so, and I've owed it to them for over a year, so, you know, I really gotta get on the ball with that. But I just want to show you guys some of the stuff I picked up now. This movie that I got, actually, I didn't buy it. My dad uh, let me borrow it. And, oh shit, I forgot to give him Men in Tights back. But, um, anyways, the movie is Young Frankenstein. Um, I saw some of Marty Feldman's stuff, and I love that guy. He is awesome. In fact, sometimes I wish my eyes were like his, you know, he's got that thyroid thing or whatever. Um, so I'm looking forward to watching that. Then the two games I picked up, um, they were actually both Sega games rather than Nintendo games, but the first one I got was Super Off-Road, and I was hoping I'd find like an instruction manual, you know, with the stab credits, but all I got was this, and I don't know if a manual came with the game in the first place, but um, it's a pretty cool looking cartridge actually, I like it, um, Accolade made it apparently, um, but yeah, that's all you get, so, oh well, you know, I'm happy. I haven't really played this one. I mean, I, I loaded it up in an emulator, but I never actually played it, so hopefully I'm not disappointed. The other game I got was a Game Gear game, and I got it because it was only $4.50, so how can you go wrong? That game is Caesar's Palace. Um, I own just about every version of this game besides the Genesis version. I mean, I have the Game Boy, the NES, the Super Nintendo version, and... Something I didn't know is this one was developed by Teeny Weeny Games. Now, I know it sounds funny, but my dad was laughing about it when I told him about it. But there was, um, now you might know about Beam Software, you know, the guys that made Back to the Future 1, 2, and 3 for the, for the NES. Yeah, well, this was the UK division. So, yeah, even if I'm British, that's not something to be proud of, per se. But they made some good stuff. Um, so here you go, you got this tray, it looks like, like, it looks like one of these trays you'd use to, like, put ketchup in at, like, a, you know, a fast food restaurant, but, um, it's alright, it's pretty cool. Um, nice to have all that packaging and stuff, and remember, this is only five bucks, so how can you go wrong, come on, you know, hey. Now, we got some, we got our instruction manual here, it's not the best condition, but, um, that's alright. And again, I was hoping to find credits in here, which there are, but it doesn't actually say who worked on it, you got the Game Gear, it says, you know, Teeny Weeny Games made it. Uh, manual by Richard Hewison, I think. Produced for Virgin by Mike Marin. Dealt with by Matt Walker, U.S. Manual Edited. You know, there, there's no actual, you know, developer credits. Teeny Weeny Games seem to be, like, really secretive about that. It turns out they made the NES game at Last Action, I mean, bleh, Last Action Hero. So... I don't know if I'm actually going to be playing this on my Game Gear anytime soon because I need to find like a charger for it. I might just end up getting that on eBay or something. But then you got this, um, you know, this little promo card or whatever if you want to buy more of their stuff. Uh, they just ask you some questions, I guess. I don't know. Then you got this promo thing for Sega stuff. And remember, I'm not a Sega person, and that's not to say I hate Sega. Otherwise, why am I buying any of this stuff? But I'm, you know, I grew up with Nintendo, so. You know, that's what I usually play. We got, uh, we got, um, you know, Cool Spot, Robocop vs. The Terminator. You know, all these are Genesis games. Though, whoa, I noticed a little editing error here. But see, like, they left, like, a huge white spot here. I guess someone, you know, came on it or something. So, that's not good. Um, then they got Dune. I didn't even know that was a Sega CD game. Jam It. I've heard about that. Demolition Man. I haven't even seen that movie. Is it any good? Um, anyway, so that's Caesar's Palace, and it's still, I don't know if this is factory sealed or not, I don't think it is, but you know, it's still got plastic in it. Oh, and there's something else in here, let me see. Um, okay, I got a photo of some guy in a boat, I don't know what the fuck this is. I'm assuming this is whoever previously owned this, but okay, well if you want your photo back, let me know. If you ever do happen to watch this video. I, don't, I doubt that's ever going to happen. I don't think the owner's going to ever come across my channel, but hey, that's interesting to find, right? Um, anyways, if you guys want to see the cartridge, um, we got the plastic here, kind of like Famicom games. You got the case, which I like, um, though it doesn't shut all the way, or does it? I, don't know, I can't get it to shut all the way, but I don't really care. 
I'm probably never going to use this again, but here's the cartridge, just a pair of dice. It's a port of the Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo version. But it's weird because it uses music from both the Game Boy version and the, the Super Nintendo slash Game Gear version. Now, uh, Seth Mendelssohn did the Game Boy version and Tommy Tallarico. Come on, you've heard of him, haven't you? He did the, um, the, the Sega or, and the Super Nintendo version. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. I just don't know who did the conversion for the Master System. All I know is that it was some guy in England. That's all I know. Teeny Weeny Games, like I said, is a British company. Just a British version of a Australian company. Jeez. So, yeah, that's... It's awesome that I got this. They also had NBA Jam and a couple of golf games, I think, for the Game Gear. Um, they were a little bit more expensive, but they were... They weren't even over ten bucks. They weren't even close, so... Um, that's pretty cool to have that. Maybe I could turn around and sell it on eBay for a bunch of money. You never know. Depends if I like this. I only played the Game Gear version once on an emulator, so I might have to commentate on that. There's not real... There's not any way that I know of any way to, you know, show you footage from a Game Gear console, you know, directly from the console without, like, having to use a webcam or something, so I might have to emulate it, unfortunately, but... It's not a horrible game. It's okay. I mean, it's not the worst game you're ever going to play. But you might want to play Vegas Dream instead or Vegas Stakes for the Super Nintendo and Game Boy. Those are good games. But come on, can you really blame me for getting this game with the girl that hot on the cover? Now, if she was Asian, that would even be like, it would make the game ten times more awesome. But anyway, so this is awesome that I got this. I think it's like my third or fourth Game Gear game. Then I got, um, oh, I didn't just buy this, this is a game I had for a long time, but my dad gave this to me to give to my sister, even though it was my game. This is Initial D Mountain Vengeance, and I don't even know how, how rare it is. I, I remember playing this, and it wasn't that good. It wasn't horrible or anything, it was like the worst game ever, and I vaguely remember it. So, you know, don't, so don't judge me on that. It's been a while. Maybe if I played it now. And by the way, the computer I played it on before, you know, it wasn't all that good. But let me look it up on a on a eBay. Let me see. Mountain Vengeance. How is that? Uh, is it like 100 bucks or something? I doubt it. Oh wow, 31, 40 bucks. Now I'll tell you guys how I got this. Um, at Best Buy they had like I think for ten dollars you got three games of one. Well, one of them was 007 Nightfire, then one of them was, uh, like it was a NASCAR game, but I don't remember exactly which one. And then this was the other one. So that's awesome that I own this. And then now that I have the manual, I wonder if they actually put you know like the credits in here or something. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. So let me take a look here. Um, but yeah. Um, Initial D, I used to be really into this anime, like, I even bought, like, the Japanese ones, even though I ha I didn't even know how to read Japanese. Um, I'm sure if I read it now, I could probably read it just a bit, so. I might comment in on this, if I can ever find out how to fucking record PC games. I know some people are like, well, we'll use Fraps or something. Yeah, well, my computer does not like Fraps. It's like, you know, it's like fucking putting, you know, Iran with the U.S. Not, you know, it's not good. So anyways, I will be commentating on this, and I'll be commentating on this, I just don't know when. Like I said, I've been kind of moving away from commentaries because, you know, it's kind of boring, at least I think so, just hearing me drone on about the game, you know, like I am now in this video blog, but with my video blogs it's alright for me to do because, you know, I'm okay with doing them because I'm doing, you know, I, they're kind of meant to be done live, so. These are definitely some cool pickups, and um, by the way, off-road was 10 bucks, so I don't know if I got cheated or not. Let me check on eBay, and then, other than that, I'm done. I'm done with this video. <laughs> um, also, I did make a video like a couple days ago, but I never uploaded it, because it's about something really stupid. I'll, I'll do it again, but I just, I don't know when, but, uh, let's see, Genesis, Super Off-Road Genesis. Okay, not bad. How much is it complete, though? Oh, there's the instruction manual. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Well, I can't find any boxed copies, but the game's about five to ten bucks. Same with the manual. It's a little over five bucks, so I'll have to get that sometime. So anyways, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys are having a great weekend. Um, hope you guys um, have a good Sunday, and I hope you guys have a good week and life and everything. Um, I think I will, and I have to finish this, too.
So I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Have a good day.